Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and I'm incredibly excited to bring into high level one of my favorite releases of this year, the Facebook Ad Manager. Packed with your own template library, generative AI, comprehensive reporting, and one of the best ad user interfaces out there, this is one of the most valuable features that you can use and resell as a high level agency owner, so let me show you exactly how to get started. In order to get started, we are going to be on the agency level and go under reselling, where we'll be able to see at the bottom of the screen, Ad Manager Reselling. Now you're gonna see on this screen that we have two different options for our ad manager service. We have the default ad manager, which is perfect for business owners whose ads are currently not being managed within a meta business manager. And then we have the connect your own business manager, which is great for people who already have an ad account set up within Facebook's meta platform. Now the ad manager itself within high levels platform that's going to allow you to create campaigns and run ads on Facebook is not going to change depending on which plan you select. These two plans are essentially your methods of payment for yourself and for your sub accounts. With the default ad manager, you can add between a zero and 15% markup on the ad spend budget, and then high level will charge 10% of the remaining ad spend after your markup. For example, let's say you set up your account with the default ad manager and a user on a sub account sets up an ad with an $800 monthly spend. After they create and publish that campaign, high level will receive 10% of that $800. And then you as an agency owner will receive whatever your set markup is between zero and 15%. Then the remaining balance is what will be put towards ads. Think of this more of a pay as you go sort of plan. On the other hand, the connect your own business manager will allow you to pay a flat price of either $97 a month or $970 a year to high level for unlimited campaigns across all sub accounts. Now, depending on the volume that you are running through your ads in terms of sub accounts and actual monthly spend, if you're running less ads, then the default ad manager is probably going to be better for you. And if you're running more then the connect your own is probably going to be a better option that's going to be more effective and profitable for you and your clients. Keep in mind that this is a one time action. And after you check this checkbox and click save, then you will be good to go. Now, after you've selected one of the two plans as an agency owner, keep in mind that the ad manager will now show up by default across all of your different sub accounts. If you want to turn these off, then you can turn these off in sub account settings. So our sub accounts now have access to the Facebook ad managers feature, and we'll see this under marketing and then ad manager in any of our sub accounts. We're starting here with a blank account that hasn't had a Facebook page connected, but if you already have one connected via the social planner or via integrations, then you will see it show up on this page over here under ad manager. What we want to do is click connect Facebook and then go through the process of connecting our Facebook page. And then you can select the ad account specifically that you're going to be using with the ad manager. You can then select the Facebook page that you're going to be using and click connect on the right hand side. Once our Facebook page is added, we can click get started and create our very first campaign. As soon as you're dropped into this interface, you're going to immediately notice that everything is a lot more straightforward, a lot more user friendly when compared to Facebook's platform. This makes setting up campaigns for you and your clients infinitely easier than it would be for them to go off and do it on their own. So if you're familiar with Facebook ads, then you'll see a lot of different functionality that you're probably used to within Facebook. But if you're not familiar to it, then all of this is really intuitive and still will make a lot of sense. We can select two different options for our objective, either lead generation or website traffic. Keep in mind, lead generation is going to be using Facebook lead forms. If you don't have one created, that's totally fine. You can create one right from this screen by clicking create Facebook form. Now this is different from forms and surveys within high level because these forms are going to be native to Facebook's platform. That way, whenever somebody sees your ad, they're not having to go off to a separate screen in order to give you their contact details. They get to do all of it within Facebook, which increases conversions. When you're creating your form, High Level has lots of pre-built assets from anything like the form type to the greetings, questions, what questions you're going to be asking within your form itself. And it makes it really intuitive to actually adjust your form to your specific business needs. You can also adjust your call to actions with your buttons from learn more, shop now, and lots of different things. Now, after you select your objective and adjust certain details like the ad categories, then you can move on to placements. Placements can either be auto or manual. If you want to make an ad that's specifically to be made on stories, reels, in-feed posts, maybe because it's a specific size that looks best in those placements, then I would recommend you use manual. But if you're making an ad that's going to look good no matter where it is, then auto is going to be perfect for you. Now under text and media, this is where you can add in your primary text, which is going to be the text here at the top of your ad, your headline, which is going to be seen down here, and the description, which is going to be down here. You can also add in your media being photos or videos. Currently, we support single photos or single videos, and carousels will be coming soon. Now, when you upload your photo or video, you'll be able to see your media right here on the right hand side where you can delete it if you would like to. And you can also see a preview on the right for feeds, stories and reels for exactly what your ad's going to look like. Then when you click next, you will see the next step, which is where you're going to be determining your budget and audience. Currently, there is a budget cap of thirty five hundred dollars. And of course, make sure whatever amount you put in here, you are prepared to pay and be charged to the card on file that we are going to get to in a second. We can also adjust the budget between daily and lifetime. If we set it to lifetime, 
then we will see exactly how long the campaign will last. So let's say we want to make it last a week, and then we can set it up just like that. Under your budget, you'll see your audience controls where you can add in geographic locations. For example, if you're running local business ads, then make sure you're adding in things like the city around the business that you're going to be running the ad for. And then also we can adjust things like interests and demographics at the bottom under intended audience. Now make sure you look into local and federal laws for whatever business you're running these ads for. Some business types don't allow specific types of targeting and things like that. So make sure you look that up before you put in target interests or demographics. Feel free to look around in the interest drop down where you can see all the different types of interests that customers can have. For example, these are typically things that they're searching up or things that fall on their feed pretty often. Lookalike audiences are only for if you've already ran ads previously or if you have a current customer list that you can create an audience off of. So for most people, this is going to be a little bit more on the advanced side. And then retargeting is also going to be for people who have already ran ads and it's going to retarget back to people that have shown interest in your business. Now, after you've determined the details via the interest drop down, your language drop down, gender, and your age range, then we are going to move on to the next step, which is going to be reviewing and publishing your campaign. On this screen, you're going to see all of your ad content, which you can even edit right here just in case something is messed up. You can also see your audience, your budget, all the different details that we just put in all will be on this screen, as well as a beautiful preview of your ad itself. Before you hit publish, you'll notice a notification at the bottom of the screen that says after publishing campaign, create conversion API workflow to send leads to AdPixel. This is going to be a little bit of extra work that's necessary to get these ads running properly, but I promise you it's super simple. So let me show you exactly how that works. Now, once you have your pixel created from either before on Facebook or through high levels platform, we are going to head over to workflows. Our first step is to create a new workflow from scratch. Then we are going to add a trigger for a Facebook form submission, which we're going to see right here under events. And then we are going to add our Facebook conversion API action, which you will see if you look up API. For this purpose, we're going to click ad manager since we're doing this under the ad manager and you'll see pixel ID is right there. And you'll see a drop down for our pixel ID where we can click the pixel that we are using. Now, if we were trying to create a conversion API using this workflow without using High Levels Ad Manager, we would have to go through the steps of getting all of the pixel information, things like the access token, the ID, the value from Facebook, and then putting it into this workflow, which is a lot more steps for you and your customers. This is just another one of the ways that this feature makes it way easier to run Facebook ads on your platform and makes it a huge value add for you and your clients. You can set the value to whatever you'd like. So we're just going to say 10 and then we're going to click save action. Once this is set up, you can turn it from draft to publish and click save. And now your conversion API is going to be set up. So that way all the information from your Facebook ads will be sent back to the system so you can track your leads better, which means that now you can see reports on Facebook ads through high level. You can create posts on Facebook through high level, and you can create and run and manage your ads through high level, which means you and all of your clients don't have to go to any other platform besides high level in order to get all the value out of Facebook that you can. And if you're running a business where your focus is giving your clients a great experience, allowing them to run their businesses effectively using your software and effectively market their business to the rest of the world without having to mess with softwares like Facebook that can potentially bring lots of headaches, I'm sure you see just how much value this feature brings to high level as a platform and you as an agency owner. But in addition to the Facebook ad reporting that you see on this screen, you also will be able to see a summary of your ads back in the ad manager at this overview screen. You'll be able to see your three most important metrics, which are cost per click, reach, and spend. So you can see how your Facebook ads are doing right at a glance. With all this in mind, I'm incredibly excited to bring this to you. So go into your agency account, select a plan, and get this out to your clients as soon as possible. It's going to make a huge difference for yourself and for all of your sub accounts. As always, if you have any questions about this feature, leave a comment on this video, and thank you so much for watching.